this all elements are uh, generated or spawned from this direction going into this direction and they are spawned on this location so i don't want that i want some of the element to be i want sometime this middle one to come uh, faster than this one so for that what i'm going to do is that in the spawner action script here that i have uh, created i am going to create some sort of public float and i'm going to name it as the min element that should hold some sort of minus 5 value and public float uh, I'm going to call it a max and I'm going to say that this should be equal to 10f. Now these two are, we are going to use the coordinates of y-axis and in the position element spawn until full, what I'm going to do is that, uh, I think in this one, yeah in this one, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a random integer, uh, so creating that, so I'm going to say that float uh, random is equal to random dot range and random dot range has minimum this value and maximum this value because uh, this contain the minimum value and this contain the maximum value so our current minimum value is uh, minus 5 and current maximum value is 10f so anything that is selected will be selected between these two elements here and the other thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a vector 3 and I'm going to say that it's vector 3 offset and new vector 3 and I'm going to say that in the y in the x in the y axis I am going to pass the random value and in the z it should be equal to 0 so whenever the value like uh, it's sometime it will be 4 sometime it will be 1 sometime it will be 0 passed to this y axis here and I'm going to add that to this uh, position element here and the other thing that I'm going to do is that just to check whether they are working or not, I'm going to disable this scene manager script here so that we don't uh, go into the other scene so that we can check whatever our uh, current responses are. You can see that uh, sometime, uh, now you can see that sometime middle one is coming first, sometime this last one is coming, sometime this one and so on. You can see that these all are coming down first. The other thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to set some sort of speed uh, to this piano tile here. So for that, I'm going to go into this uh, piano tile script that we have created and I'm going to double click open it, reload all. So first of all, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a public rigid body 2D and I'm going to say it's RB type and I'm going to create a public float and set name and a speed and I'm going to set initial speed of 500F. And in the update function, all of our action is going to happen in this update function. I'm going to say that we are using RB of the rigid body dot velocity because this should convert the thing into moving thing. So I'm going to say that new vector three, we are going to create a new vector three. And in this, uh, on the X axis, we don't want anything to change. On the Y axis, we want to apply this speed. But you know that our element should be coming from uh, uh, top to down. So we are going to inverse that speed by simply uh, putting that minus sign here. And we are going to multiply by that speed with time dot del time so that our speed should be or this uh, speed should be independent of the frame rate. Because we, if we don't apply that time dot del time, then this should be depending on the frame rate. Uh, if some computer is faster than the other, the performance on the faster computer would be better than the uh, on the slow computer. So let's save it and uh, now you can see that we got some sort of speed here and uh, we can change the speed to something like 10,000 and now you can see that I have paused the game so that when it loaded now you can see that how many fast these tiles are coming down so you can ch uh, change your speed from here like I'm going to set it to 1000 and let's see what happens Now you can see that they are coming very fast and I'm not going, I'm not able to touch them. So I think this is it and uh, I'm going to save this thing. And uh, yeah. So I think our whole, I think our major job is done. And now let's head to add some sort of, uh, some sort of, uh, I think, uh, um, sound to this game here. So whenever we touch on any tile here, we are going to display some sort of sound. 
so uh, guys if you have missed this uh, what i have created it here in the pink section here let me tell you again i have created this uh, when i was when i was not recording so let me give you this thing here i have created a simple let me delete that and create that again for you what i'm uh, i have done that i have created this piano i have drag and drop my piano prefab from here and i have set this over here and i have change its scale to some sort of 0 0.05 so that this should be some uh, line here and I'm set this color to black here and change its scale to something of 2.4 and yeah it, here it is and I have removed all of the component from it so that we don't want it to be moving now I and I have duplicate that this piano element here I've duplicated it and I have so that we have some sort of lanes from which our elements will be passing down now you can see that our all elements are passing between these lanes and I think I will set this to let me zoom in to somewhere here and this one to somewhere here now let's see Yeah, that's good. So we have created some sort of lanes now. 